gender predictions basically if you don't know what this is I am going to be answering a few questions and doing a few tests that basically you're supposed to determine which gender I am having boy or girl I thought this would just be fun to do because after I find out the gender I'm gonna look back at this video and I want to see which ones turned out to be right but obviously these are just like myths they're not 100% facts like that's what I'm gonna have you know it's just a little fun game it's not like an actual like real thing but like I said I thought this would be fun to film and you guys asked for me to film this video as well so I hope you guys enjoy it and if you do make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to the crew subscribe to my channel and turn my notifications on and guys as for my gender reveal today is Friday as I'm filming this I am doing my gender reveal tomorrow I'm so excited but um I don't want to upload the videos like right after each other so I don't know exactly what day I'm going to be uploading my gender reveal I would just definitely say stay tuned on my Instagram and on my snapchat because those will be the days that I reveal which day my gender reveal will be going up but it will definitely be going up either this weekend or sometime this week no worries about that yeah don't worry it's gonna come you guys are gonna know soon and then after i tell you guys the gender like i do my gender reveal then i will um post my baby registry because a lot of you guys were asking if i had one you wanted to send me stuff which i really appreciate that you guys don't have to send me anything but the ones of you that want to i appreciate that so much and um i will leave my registry in the description of my gender reveal video so stay tuned for that and make sure to check the description and yeah that's all i have to say let's just go ahead and jump right into this video did I have morning sickness? Um, no, I did not have morning sickness. I think I've had a pretty easy pregnancy so far. If my stomach wasn't growing and I didn't have a missed period, I probably wouldn't even know I was pregnant, guys. Like, that's how easy my pregnancy has been. Ooh, what have I been craving? I've been craving everything. I mean, I'm really, I wouldn't call them cravings. I just like to eat. Like, before I was pregnant, I like to eat. Now I like to eat. But I would say I've mainly been eating salty foods more than sweet but I kind of go back and forth but usually I like salty sometimes there's things that are too sweet for me I can't really eat them but I prefer like salty right now like chips and chips <laughs> I have been sleeping on my I sleep on both sides don't get me wrong because eventually sleeping on one side the whole night your back, my back starts to hurt even with the pregnancy pillow so I'll switch over to the other side but I usually start on my right side this is my right side right to me the side that my heart is not on I think is my right side so I, I sleep on my right side my beauty is definitely stolen you guys probably can't tell with this camera quality and my makeup on but I actually have been having like really bad breakouts on my face and it's been worse than it's ever been in my life i don't usually break out i usually get like one or two pimples when i'm stressed but lately mount rushmore has been happening on my face so i'm gonna say my beauty has been stolen so that's another point for girl now it looks like the score is tied I would like to say I've been happy this entire pregnancy, but to be honest, I've been moody. I'm not saying I haven't been happy. I've been happy, but then I'll be like really emotional. I've never been like sad or anything like that, but I've been very emotional. Guys, literally, I remember um, one day I was at my mom's house and I had noticed that there was a picture of me 
on her wall hung up and it was from my senior pictures and it's just such an ugly picture like even now that i'm not emotional it's just an ugly picture i even thought of it thought that when i saw it in the first place which was like four years ago but the fact that my mom now has it hanging up in her house i had asked her if she could take it down and she was like no the picture's fine like what's wrong with you you have issues and i legit started crying guys like busting into tears saying no i just want you to take it down it's so ugly and like now thinking about it obviously i'm over dramatic like because I'm sensitive, the hormones are really high. But yeah, I've just been crying about everything. So um, I don't intentionally mean to cry. I just feel like my emotions get all worked up and I just start crying. So I will definitely say moody, which is team girl. <laughs> okay, am I carrying the baby high or low? Let's find out. I'm gonna stand up. I feel like at the beginning of my pregnancy, I was carrying kind of low. But I feel like now I'm carrying kind of high. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like my stomach is becoming more round. Let me actually pull this down. But see, like this, it looks like I'm carrying low. Um, I'm gonna say low. I'm gonna say carrying the baby low just because for the majority of my pregnancy my stomach has been pretty low and I think even now as I took my pulled my pants in a little bit it still looks kind of low so we're just gonna stick with low which is a point for boy my hands are definitely dry I legit just put lotion on them and like they're they already got cracks on them y'all probably can't tell but they're cracking. I literally need to moisturize my hand and my lips like 20 times a day because they become so dry. They're not really cold though, they're just dry and crackly. So we're gonna go with dry and cold. I wish they were soft and warm, but they're not. So another point for boy. Okay, every time I go to the doctors, my baby's heart rate has always been over 140. It's been 148, 158, 152, but it's never been below 140, which I would really like to know if anyone has had a baby's heart rate lower than 140, because like, I don't know. It, it hasn't happened for me. So mine has been, like I said, over 140, which is a point for team girl. Yes, I do get headaches. Um, I don't get a lot of them, but when I do get them, they're really bad. They hurt a lot. Like, I have to take a bunch of medicine. Not a bunch, because I can't really take medicine, but I have to take like a Tylenol, because the headache is just out of this world. It legit gets to a point where like I can't even think. Like I literally just have to go to sleep because my headache hurts so bad. I will say I did have a concussion earlier in my pregnancy, so I don't know if that affected it, but we're just gonna say yes to headaches. Stable or clumsy? I don't know. How does this determine what gender you're having? I don't know. Anyways, I've, I've been stable. I don't think that has anything to do with like just me in itself. I think it mainly has to do with the fact that airplane. <laughs> the fact that I know I'm pregnant, so I know I have to be extra careful like when I'm doing things. So I've been sure to be bit. I've been making sure to be extra, you know, cautious of what I'm doing. So stable for me, which is. Team girl. I have literally had dreams about having a boy and dreams about having a girl, but <laughs> last night I had a dream about having a boy. And now the way that this test works is they say that whatever dream you're having, you're supposed to have the opposite. So if you dream boy, you're going to give birth to girl. And if you dream girl, you're gonna give birth to boy. So with that being said, I have been dreaming boy, but that means it's a point for team girl. This is such a weird question, but I think my body hair has became more thick and fast growing. I usually don't have to shave my legs for like two weeks, but now I've been having to shave my legs like every week. The reason I don't have to shave my leg for two weeks is because I have laser hair removal, but it's still been growing back and it's been growing back a lot quicker. So I will say that my hair has definitely been fast and thick growing, which is another point for team boy. By the way guys, sorry if my energy energy seems kind of low right now. I am really tired and I really wanna take a nap, but we're gonna continue on with this video. So 
this test says that if your belly line goes from your waist to your belly button and stops there, that you are having a girl. And if your belly line goes from your waist past your belly button, then you are having a boy. And so I'm gonna show you guys mine. I don't know if you guys can see, but right there is my belly line. And as you can see, it stops right at my belly button. It doesn't go above, there's no line. Um, so if we're going according to this test, that's a point for team girl. Okay, so Caden doesn't have a guess as to what we're having. He just said he wants a healthy baby. However, I did catch him saying that he said he in a sentence and I said he, we don't know if we're having a boy or a girl. And he was like, obviously every guy wants a son. So Caden wants a boy. So we're gonna give a point to team boy for dad's guess. Also, Caden has a way of getting everything he wants. Like, he literally speaks everything to existence. I laugh about it now, but it's really not that funny. But, like, as you guys know about the story time, when he put his name in my phone as Baby Daddy, and now here we are. He somehow spoke that into existence. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to do that. Also, the first day we met, he told me I was going to have his kids one day, and now... Ta-da, magic, I don't know. He he has some sort of connection with the universe. So if we end up having a boy, I'm gonna need Caden to like speak into existence that we become billionaires because that would just, that'd be great. Thanks, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> As for me, I also don't have a guess or a preference. Um, unlike Caden, Caden has a preference. I don't have a preference or a guess, but because Caden is team boy, I'm just gonna go opposite and be team girl. That way, whatever we have, at least, you know, one of us wanted the other, you know? Does that make sense? I'm not gonna try to make that make sense. <laughs> so I've never actually checked the Mayan calendar to find out the prediction for the gender. So we're gonna check it right now together. So this is the Mayan calendar. And apparently how this works is you will put in your age at the time of conception and then your month of conception my age when i got pregnant is 22 even though i'll be giving birth at 23 i am currently 22 and the month of conception was may so if we put that in we go to may i'm trying to make this so y'all can see but you go to may and then you go down to 22 and it says i'm having a boy okay so the Chinese calendar I also haven't checked but we're gonna do it right now basically I'm just on this website where you enter your birthday so my birthday is January 3rd 1997 then you insert your date of, conce date of conception oh my goodness mine is May 17th 2019 that's the date I got pregnant and then you just click predict baby gender and it says, congratulations, it's a baby boy. So this one also predicts that I'm going to have a boy. So that's another point for team boy. So if you don't know what the reflexology test is, let me inform you. So apparently you can tell the sex of your unborn baby by looking at your feet. At least that's what reflexologists say. If your left foot looks fatter in a particular place just by the arch, you're having a girl. But if the right foot looks fatter at the same place, you're having a boy. So let's go ahead and look at my feet. I feel like you feet fetish people are going to love this. Here, oh my God, I feel like I'm giving birth already. Here are my feet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but let me look at them myself. Which foot is fatter? Ooh, I would say my right foot is fatter. I'm gonna say this foot is fatter than this one on the like, this part of my foot that you're supposed to look at. This one is definitely fatter. Your right foot looks fatter than this, you're having a boy. So that's a point for team boy. So the next test that I'm going to do is the ring test. And basically I take a string of my hair tie it to this ring that's on my finger. 
finger. We're gonna use my Cartier ring. And then um, I'm gonna have my sister help me. She's gonna swing it over my belly. Well, she's not gonna swing it. She's gonna place it over my belly. We're gonna see if it swings in a straight line or in a circle. Okay, that hurt. <laughs> this is so not comfortable, guys. I need furniture in my apartment ASAP. Ready? What? I feel like it's going back and forth mainly, right? Yeah. Yeah, I would say back and forth. So, according to legend, that means I'm having, what does it say, I can't read. Which one? Oh no. Ring swing, back and forth, boy. Boy! Dun dun dun. <laughs> okay, so the next test is called the key test and basically Tyler is gonna drop a key on the floor and then I'm just gonna pick it up and apparently, depending on how I pick it up, determines what gender I'm having. You got the key. All right, go ahead and drop it. I'm just gonna pick it up. I'm not gonna look at it or anything like that. <laughs> okay. You got how I picked it up? Yeah. Is it blurry? No. Okay, so I picked it up by this, and according to the key test, if you pick it up by the wide side, you're having a boy. So it's another point for a teen boy. Watch, I have a girl that watch. All right, and the last test that there is, is the cutlery test. So my sister Tyler is going to tape a fork and a spoon to the bottom of my chair, and then depending on which one I pick without looking, that also determines whether I'm having a boy or girl. Some of these tests are a little out there, but I just thought they'd be interesting to try, because I really want to see if these end up coming out to be true. But let's go ahead and do the test. Okay, so now we have the fork and the spoon. Tyler's gonna place them under my seat, because we're not gonna, we don't tape, so we're not gonna tape it. But I'm just gonna pick one and yeah, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna close my eyes while she puts them down. I feel like this side. Which <laughs> oh, under there okay. my bed. Maybe not that side, maybe we'll go to this side then. Oh okay, I picked up the spoon, which according to the cutlery test, spoon means I'm having a girl. Point for team girl. Oh my goodness. Dude, this, these tests, like you really can't tell. Okay, oh there's the fork. But interesting, I went for the fork first. And then just for fun, I thought I would include you guys' guesses. So I did a poll on Instagram, and the final results were 53% um, that voted think that I'm having a boy, and 47% that voted think I'm having a girl. So that is a point for team boy, and that was really close, just like, all of these tests are kind of really close because I really don't know. Boy, girl, what am I having? I don't know. So according to the test results, I am having a boy. What? So Kaden might be onto something, you guys. Just know if I have a boy, he's gonna have amazing style and he's gonna know how to treat a woman right best believe that <laughs> all right guys that was the old wives tales gender prediction test i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know do you think that the test is going to turn out right and i'm gonna have what it predicted or do you think it's going to end up being the opposite let me know or you can take the poll up there and vote but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below as well as turn my notifications guys we're almost to 800 000 subscribers and i'm so glad to have all of you on this journey i really appreciate it but yeah let's hit 800k that's our goal and i will see you guys in my next video i love you so much i'm chandler alexis and i'm signing out bye guys mm -hmm.